guys, welcome to Grayson's 12 month update. This will probably be the last of the monthly updates until I'll probably do one when he's a year and a half. But yes, my baby has turned one. You are one years old. It's been a whirlwind of a year. I think the best quote that I've heard to describe this first year was the days are long, but the years are short. And that is exactly what I would describe as Grayson's first year. I just look back and I feel like I was just in the hospital like a month ago. So anyway, let's get to Grayson. He is 30 inches tall and he is in the 54th percentile for height. He's 21 pounds, three and a half ounces and in the 47th percentile for weight. And he is... Yes, and his head is 46 centimeters and he is 46 percentile. So he is very average for all of his stats, which is pretty consistent with how he's been all year. Grayson can now say, uh-oh, uh-oh. He can say, yak, yak. He can say, yeah. <laughs> he can say, mama and he can say dada, and he can say hi, and he waves, say hi. Ah. Yeah. Grayson can say mama, but these past couple months, he has only been saying dada. I'll say, Grayson, say mama, and he'll say dada. Dada. Da. Da, da. He will not say mama. I know he knows how to say it, but he refuses. Da. I guess that's kind of like karma or just getting back to me because in the beginning he only said mama and he would never say dada and now it's totally flipped. Something new with Grayson this month is he learned how to say hi and wave. So he will now wave, not all the time and not always on, yeah, he's doing it right now. Not all the time and not always on cue, but he will wave. He has not figured out like bye, but he will say hi. And he likes to wave at everyone. He will wave, yeah, he will wave at anyone. Daddy, when he goes off to work in the mornings, when we go to the grocery store, he'll wave at random strangers. It's the cutest thing. So this past month, we went to the park for the first time because now that it is April, it is finally getting warm outside. Thank goodness, because Grace and I were going crazy being cooped up in the house. So we went to the park for the first time and we have a little park in our neighborhood. So we just walked to it and in the park, there are little baby swings. So I put Grayson in it to try for the first time and he absolutely loved it. Here's a video. First time swinging at the park. It's March 13th, 14th. Woohoo! He loves it. At our little neighborhood park. Beautiful. He loves it. Yeah, you having so much fun? So yeah, he loved the swings and he's a little daredevil. He just likes to go higher and higher and higher. Like if you push him like little, little, he'll be like, eh, okay, like this is fun, whatever. But if you like, give him huge swings he smiles so big and he just loves the swing so we try to go on it as much as we can we need to put up we got a swing from anthony's parents a while ago we need to hang it in our backyard because he loves swinging this past month i have noticed that grayson has become super clingy to me lately he does not like it when i leave him even for a second i have to constantly be playing with him giving him attention holding him and if I walk out of the room he freaks out and he has a meltdown and another thing started this month is Grayson has started um tantrums I mean like little baby ones if he does not get his way he gets very angry about it and he will let you know that he is angry about it yeah that's been kind of an adjustment and not quite sure like how to deal with these tantrums since he's only a year old and like, I don't really think putting him in timeout or punishments will really like get through to him because he won't understand like why he's being punished. So trying to figure that one out, I guess. I have also noticed this past month that Grayson has been sucking on his 
fingers a lot more often. So if you're new to this channel, Grayson um, liked the pacifier for like the first two months and then he quit altogether and didn't do the pacifier and then he started sucking. He sucks on his two middle fingers. I'll input a picture to show you. So yeah, he only likes to suck his fingers, which is fine, but I've noticed like in the past, he used to only suck his fingers when he was hungry or when he was uh, tired. Lately, this past <coughs> month, I've noticed that he's been sucking on his fingers all the time. When he's not hungry or thirsty or tired, he just does it because like he's overwhelmed or I'm not giving him attention or just because he wants to. Like he'll, we'll be reading a book and he'll just start sucking his fingers. So I'm not sure if he's like teething and getting like his one year molars <coughs> or if that's just like a coping thing or what, but I haven't been noticing that. Grayson loves balloons. We um, realized that this month when we went and got balloons for his birthday party, he just loves them. He always wants to talk to the balloon, point out the balloon to me, and it's super cute to see. Grayson loves being outside. He loves going on walks and going to the park, and he also just loves being out in our yard. He loves playing in the dirt. He loves exploring and um, seeing our porch. The one thing that he does not... Ah! Yeah, say hi. The one thing that... He... Ah! <laughs> yeah. The one thing that he does not like outside, though, is the grass, which I've heard that's very common with the babies. He, he does not like the feel of the grass. It's probably just a weird new feeling for him. He absolutely will not crawl in the grass. He does not like to put his, his hands on the grass. He will walk on the grass. He is still not walking yet. He took like um, a couple steps. I think it was around 11 months. And since then, it's like he doesn't have enough confidence or something. And so he refuses to walk at all. He will walk if we hold his fingers, like hold his hands for him and support him. But he will not walk on his own. It's very frustrating because he wants to be able to walk. He just won't for whatever reason. It's a lot of up and down, as you can see with Grayson as well. He'll want me to pick him up, then he'll want me to put him down, then pick him up, then put him down. That's my life. This past month, um, Grayson, Anthony, and I went on a trip with Anthony's family to Florida. We went to like Clearwater Beach area. It was fun. Um, Grayson loved the sand and loved the ocean. So here's, um, here's a video. We would put him down on the sand and he would just crawl and just be free. I think he loved having all the space around to like just go wherever he wanted to go. And he was just having time of his life. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, also this past month, we went and got Grayson his first haircut. We took him, they have like a little, like kid specific haircut place where we live. And so we took him and it was so cute. They have like little like themed seats that your kid can sit in. So Grayson was in an airplane. They had like a unicorn, they had um, a train, like just all sorts of things. And Grayson actually did really good. They also had TVs. So um, Grayson could watch his favorite Netflix show, Little Baby Bum, which he is absolutely addicted to. It's super cute to see. So he did great. He was just watching his show, doing whatever. The only time he cried was at the very end when they took like the clippers and did his like around his ears. He did not like that and he did cry. But other than that, he did great. So he looks so much older now, now that we got his hair cut, he needed it bad. Like his hair was so long. I'm interested to see like how often I'm gonna have to take him to get his hair cut. It was a really good experience and I'm super happy that we got his hair cut done. Grayson hates uh, laying still to be changed um, his diaper or his clothes. He just does not like it. He doesn't. He wants to be on the move and going and doing whatever he wants to do. He does not want to have like have time for me to change his diaper. So that's been a little difficult for me to do. 
Um, I try to distract him. I sing like Itsy Bitsy Spider or I try to like get him to look at different things around the room since he does recognize a lot of words. But a lot of the times he, I just have to like wrangle him. It's really hard to change him at all. Grayson loves Cheerios. I give him a bunch when we go on our walks and he just goes to town and absolutely loves them. He loves going shopping and being out in the public. He likes people watching. He likes saying hi to people. He just likes getting out of the house, which I don't blame him. Grayson still loves bath time. Um, he will splash around in the water. We have little bath toys that he plays with now and he just absolutely loves it. Grayson also loves, like I bought him these little like Arrowhead baby biscuits. He loves them. I call him his cookies and he just goes to town on them. He also also really likes animal crackers and Teddy Grahams. He really likes those too. Grayson still loves reading books. We have tons of books and he's always getting different ones out. His favorite right now is this book and it like you push different buttons and it has different animal noises on it. He loves it and he makes me read it to him every day several times a day. <laughs> we had Grayson's first year photo shoot this past month to commemorate his first birthday. So it was a cake smash and then he got a bubble bath and then we just had some professional photos done. So here are a couple photos from that photo shoot. <laughs> not easy to pose and sit still he just constantly wanted to crawl away and come towards me so it was really hard to get him to sit still but I think it went really well we used the same photographer that did his newborn pictures so I loved how they turned out and it was a really fun experience we of course celebrated Grayson's birthday um, his birthday was on a Thursday this year so we had a little party at at our house and just my siblings and um, our friends from Columbus and my mom came and they celebrated with us and we did a little smash cake there. Here's some videos of that. Uh, I'm didn't know what to do but now he's actually like getting into it and he likes tearing it it's super cute so then after that the weekend after on that Saturday so like two days after we had his actual birthday party um, we had it at my parents house up in Toledo just because we have a lot of family in Toledo my family's from Toledo and so is Anthony's family so we just had a little birthday party there it was animal themed so here's a couple pictures of that <laughs> Thank you. 
We did another cake smash, totaling three cake smashes for Grayson this year. That was a lot of cake smashes, um, but every time he smashed it, we would just say, tap, 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 and he would just go boom, boom, boom. So he loved it. It was super cute. But I am glad that the first birthday is done. That was a lot of parties, a lot of stressing for me, a lot of money buying decorations and food and everything. So I am glad that is over. We don't need to celebrate him again until a whole nother year. But yeah, I think that's all all for Grayson. He's healthy, happy, developing. He's still behind in a couple things. He does not point. He does not clap his hands. And of course, he's still not walking. But I know every baby develops on their own timeline. So he will get there. And I know this next year, he's going to be developing like crazy. He's going to get more teeth. He's going to learn new things. Um, he's going to speak more words. He's going to walk. Then he'll start running. That's gonna be crazy. So I'm super excited to see what this next year has in store for us. Um, I'm hoping to start vlogging more. I know this past year I really have only done one month updates. And so I'm really hoping that this next year I will be able to film a lot more and give you more like regular vlogs. So stay tuned for all of that. Thanks for watching this video. Hit that button to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.